Let's talk a little more about General Mattis with another general, retired Major General from the U.S. Army and now the chairman of Stand Up America, our old friend Paul Vallely, Skyping in from Big Sky Country. Uh, it is so good to have you back here on Newsmax Prime, Paul. Thanks very much for your time. We really appreciate Thank you, it. Let me just go back and play some of what Donald Trump had to say last night about General Mattis when he made the big announcement. Let's look and listen. They say he's the closest thing to General George Patton that we have, and it's about time. It's about time. Uh, so what about it, Paul? Is Mad Dog Mattis the closest thing we have to George Patton these days? Well, J.D., it is about time we put somebody in there while we're at war that understands victory, strategy, tactics, what has to be done to uh, bring victory to America against its enemies, particularly ISIS. And uh, Trump said all along he was going to choose a Patton-esque type of general, and that's what he's got in Mad Dog. Well, it's interesting. When you hear General Mattis himself talk about leadership, he offered this assessment of what it takes to make a great leader. Once again, let's look and listen. There is no way to separate out the leadership traits because if you prioritize one or over the others, then you actually become a weaker leader. You've got to look at all of them and how they come together that make you into the kind of leader that your troops want to follow. And so obviously his troops followed him in theaters of combat in Afghanistan, in Iraq, as lieutenant colonel in the first Gulf War. But Paul Vallely, not only troops, but the massive bureaucracy in the Pentagon. Tell us how you think General Mattis can get that done. And d does he have to go to war? with the civilian employees of the Pentagon? No, because he's going to be the boss. He's going to be the chief warrior in the Pentagon, and that is very good. But I can tell you, 200 of us met with Trump uh, a little over a month ago. It was called the Warriors Meeting in Washington, D.C., and uh, we gave some good information and input uh, into uh, President-elect Trump on about five different things that we want to see happen very quickly uh, in the Pentagon. And one was, let's get the spare parts, let's get these forces armed up to fight this war, let's eliminate ISIS in 90 days, let's uh, get rid of uh, the laboratory of social engineering in the military, and let's get away from this political correctness. And if we have to say it's Islamic uh, radicalism, uh, jihad that we're at war with, then we need to say that. But we're going to bring reality, J.D., we're going to bring reality back to the Pentagon again and victory for the American people. So in other words, you're telling me, Paul, that the info that you gave to the president-elect that apparently he's following through with, with the appointment of James Mattis, is to make sure our armed forces first, last, and always are war fighters who can achieve victory. Final 30 seconds to you, Paul. Well, that's exactly right. And give them the arms and equipment they need to secure America and to achieve victory. As MacArthur once said, J.D., there's no substitute for victory. And that is very true when we put our troops in harm's way. So I'm very anxious to see the new team that uh, General Mattis will build in the Pentagon. We're going to have some new generals and admirals appointed and uh, promoted up through the ranks. And we're going to be uh, calling on you, Paul Vallely, as in the days ahead, because you know whereof you speak. We very much appreciate your time tonight from Big Sky Country.